Hey guys, welcome back to your Python tutorial series. This video I wanted to go a little bit different off topic, but it's still related. Because when we use if statements and all these loops and all this stuff that we're going to be getting into in upcoming videos, sometimes it is important to know whether or not a variable has a value. For example, what if we created a variable but it didn't have a value yet? And we wanted to do stuff with this value. Well, we don't want to do anything with the with the variable if it doesn't have a value yet. So we might want to put a halt on our program and tell our user to either insert some data to uh, to give us a value for the variable or we might want to do something else. So, how do we first create a variable that doesn't have a value? Well, in order to give a variable a value, we use like legit variable and then we give an assignment operator and then we say the value, right? Well, this creates a variable, legit variable, that's the name of it, and it has a value of 15. Well, what if we didn't want it to have a value? What would we do? Would we just say, like, let's try to make one without a variable? Let's say cats are not as cool as sharks. <laughs> And we just press enter because we don't want to assign it anything. You see that we get an error. Well, this is um, this is this can uh, be confusing to you guys who have not been programming before. But what we need to do is we need to assign it an empty an empty variable value. So basically, if we want the variable to not have a value, we assign it none. What none is, is basically says that the variable does not have a value. None in itself is not a value. So it's not like an empty value because it's not a value. It's basically it has not received a value yet. It's empty. You may also hear this in different languages as null. Alright, so in order to do that, we could say pizza man. And we can assign it none. Now, please keep in mind that the first letter is uppercase. See, if we don't do that, you can see that it does not highlight as a keyword. So we need to be sure that that is uppercase. Now, when we print pizza man, it gives us the value none. Another thing for you to keep in mind is that none is not a string where it has the value none. See, that would be this. That is different than none. Let's try this though. And then let's print that out. You can see it looks the same, but this is a value. This is not a value. We can manipulate this value. We can't manipulate none the same way as we would with this. So, Keep in mind that none does not have quotes, and it's also different than a zero. Here is something else we could do. This is different than none too, because this is a number value that has the value zero. It's still a value. So when we print this out, we, st we get zero. All right, so how can we uh, why is this practical? Well, we might need to define a variable that we're not sure what the value what the value is going to be yet. It might be defined later within our program, or it might be defined by a user of our program. They might insert a value that gets assigned to a already created variable. Uh, you might see this with, like for example, database connections. We might make a variable for database connections and we'll assign it none. So basically we don't it doesn't have a value yet. And then once the connection to the database is completed, we'll give it the value true or whatever it is. So that way uh, we define the database connection variable at the beginning, but it doesn't necessarily have any uh, it doesn't have a value until we give it a value later. So within an if statement, we could say there's a couple ways we could test to see if a variable has a value. One way is P 
please give us a value for pizza man let's try this one and you can see nothing happens because currently pizza man is set to zero so let's update that let's change pizza man to none and remember no quotes now when we run this again you can see it says please give us a value for pizza man it does not currently have a value another we can, way we can do this is we can say we can replace the uh, is equal to with is so this is another way we can test this and it does the same thing so what we might want to do is we could say like hmm we'll make a variable connection and we'll make it none okay and then we say if connection is none and we can say error try again later so basically this is going to uh, we could then make more code to halt the program to stop the program but for now this will work so now if there's no connection then it gives us an error or what we could do is we could add an else statement connection success successful all right and then what we can do is we can well this will still do the same thing because connection is still set to none but we'll update that whoops I didn't mean to do that so now let's take connection and we'll set it to a true and then we'll take this code and pray uh, run it again and it says connection successful. So that is just uh, a couple of examples of how we can have empty variables within Python. So in the next video, we'll be getting into some more programming techniques. So be sure to stick around and subscribe. Thank you.